every chain. Come on, somebody. Break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. Know that our God is powerful. And if you believe and you receive, know that God can and will break every chain that's holding you bound in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's give him a hand praise. One more hand praise. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. time to our Jesus. You know, we don't give him enough props. You know, you hear people saying, thank you, God. Thank you, God. But I want you all to know that it's about Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let's call out on the name of Jesus and give him his props. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, let me come on down. Come on down because I want to welcome Welcome, I want to do a welcome. I want to welcome everybody. I want to welcome those are, that are in house with us on this morning. Come on and give yourselves a hand of praise. Hallelujah. God is doing great and mighty things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And don't despise your small beginnings. Come on, somebody. Know that God already has it wrapped up. Hallelujah. And then we want to thank those that are online with us this morning. We want to give God praise for them. Hallelujah. We want to just say welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Share the video. Amen. Share the video and invite your friends. Hallelujah. Oh, bless God this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. And I always, always like to take a special moment and say thank you to our IFC family. To our IFC family, amen. I love you, Dante. <laughs> I love you, yes, I put you on the spot. I love you, Dante. <laughs> you know what, and I love your t-shirts. Uh, they have on t-shirts that say, you are a problem for Satan. Come on and turn it around. Because you are valuable to God's plan. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, my, my, my. Now, we all need that t-shirt. We all need that t-shirt. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But good morning, family. Good morning, friends. Good morning, co-workers. Good morning, my retiree friends. I keep saying I'm right behind y'all, but trust me, I am right behind you. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. So if you can, go ahead and uh, share the video. Um, go ahead and um, invite somebody, type something in the comments, type someone's name in the comments so that um, that'll pull them right on, amen. As soon as they open up, their, 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 it'll have a little link for them, amen. So that they're able to hear a word this morning, oh hallelujah. And that word that, that's coming forth this morning will be able to empower them to do all that God has called them to do in the name of Jesus. Somebody ought to go ahead and type for me. Be empowered. Hallelujah. Be empowered. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. I'm just so blessed this morning. I'm hoping you all are so blessed this morning. The enemy always tries to come in and set up something, don't he? He always tries to come in. But I tell you, God has given us the power. He has given us the authority to walk through this thing in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. So we're going to go ahead and go into prayer so that we can begin uh, our service this morning. Hallelujah. So uh, you all that are with us this morning, let us go ahead in prayer and bow our heads and let us go unto the throne room of grace. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Every eye, every head bowed and every eye closed this morning so that we can reverence our great and our mighty God. Oh, hallelujah. Father, we love you this morning. Father, we honor you this morning. Oh, hallelujah, Father, we adore you this morning, and we magnify your great and your mighty name in the name of Jesus. We invite your holy, holy presence in this place this morning to overtake us, Lord God, by your spirit in the name of Jesus. So we humbly bow our hearts before you this morning. And we ask in the name of Jesus that you would give us kingdom wisdom, oh God, and 
give us kingdom knowledge this morning in the name of Jesus that we are to come and understand, Lord God, your ways like never before, Lord God. We ask in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would endow us with your spirit, Lord God, and fill us, oh God, with your power, oh God, that you and you alone be glorified. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we ask that you magnify your voice in this place this morning, not only in this place, oh God, but all across the airwaves in the name of Jesus. Lord God, and reveal to us the unknown, oh God. Mm -hmm. We ask, Father, that you draw souls from the east, the west, the north, and the south, Lord God. That your kingdom, Lord God, that your kingdom continue to be built, Lord God, here in the earth realm, in the name of Jesus. Lord, build us up, Lord God, in the spirit realm like never before. Take us to places, Lord God, that we've never experienced in you before in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Now, Father, I ask that you touch Pastor Rita this morning, oh God. Lord, anoint her afresh this morning in the name of Jesus as she comes, oh God. Give her a word, oh God, a word that will change the hearts of your people like never before. Lord, and to cause change in this atmosphere, oh God. Miracles, signs, and wonders fall in this place. Miracles, signs, and wonders fall all across the internet this morning. And we, as the people of God, shall forever give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor in the mighty majestic name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. And let the church say amen, and amen, and amen one more time. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank God for these Sunday morning services. Thank God for our Wednesday night services. Thank God for every service that we can come together in one accord. That's the whole truth in one accord. Hallelujah. And give our God praise. And give our God worship. Hallelujah. There is nothing like that. Hallelujah. He, he, he as being our God, let me, let me, let me say this. Hallelujah. That when we begin to give him the praise, when we begin to give him the honor, he can use us in
go ahead on and preach. I better go ahead. Please love me because I'm going to love you. But you know what? I'm over the opinions of people because there's nothing I can do about it. I got some people over here high five and slapping hands and tearing up. But I'm, I'm saying I'm, I'm over the opinions of people because I'm in the river of the Lord. I'm, I'm, I'm in the river. I'm going somewhere and I'm going to places. And those that's in the house of the Lord, God is looking at that. That sacrifice. Lord, I got to be there. Lord, I got to sit up under that anointing. you do that. 
the children is missing out on this last outpouring of the Holy Ghost because the parents won't come in and won't bring their children. I told Pastor Kimberly, y'all mind, don't mind me. I told Pastor, we had church when we got here, so I just let y'all in on the church we had this morning. I do got a message. But I told Pastor Kimberly, I said, you know what? I said, one thing, reason why we can't quit. No, I, I talked about my cousin, Marsha. Lord was telling me about my cousin Marsha, and I said, oh, she getting up. We prayed about her last Friday. We prayed about her Friday. I said, because her grandson need her. Because she the one that's going to transfer the anointing. She the one going to transfer the anointing. She is it's the grandmother that transferred the grandparents.
he would have had his way, he would have destroyed me. Somebody say, but Jesus. Oh my God, but Jesus. Every time I got my, my back up against the wall, it looked like I was getting ready to get smoked out. Jesus was always there with me. I was in the midst of my sin. I don't know who I'm talking to online, but y'all better share this video. You understand what I'm saying? Because somebody about to get delivered on today. Come on, somebody. But it was multiply 
because he gave them food and he gave them rain and authority and he blessed them. But because they didn't know who they were, remember I said this last week, because they didn't know who they were when he questioned them and said, oh, go ahead and eat an apple, you know, go ahead.
by your stripes they are healed. And then I begin to speak to the sickness. And then I command it to leave in Jesus' name. And so some people, some people, because they don't have the understanding exactly who they are and see, and I get the authority thing because I get it because of where I worked at for a long time. I get that. You know, if you've ever been in leadership, then you understand the authority that you have. And so you understand that part. Jesus knew that he was the king of kings and the Lord of lords. He knew that there was no other name that was greater than his name. He understood the authority that he had here on earth. He understood it. But he was still submitted to God. Y'all all right? So, we got situations that's going on in our lives right now. That is going on in your lives right now. It's time for us as the believer to know exactly who we are. Amen. In Christ. And what exactly we have. We loaded with power. Oh my God. We loaded with power. And we loaded with authority. So we don't allow our conditions or our situations to dictate to us what's going on and what's going to happen. Because, you know, the enemy will tell us in our mind, oh, it ain't going to never get no better. You're going to be like this all your life. I want to let you know the devil is alive. So we talk to our situation. You say you talk to you. Yeah, I do. I talk to my situation. I've been talking to these uh, cameras. Whosoever shall say, meaning speak unto this mountain, be 
Amen. They was they looked at bigger than what we could ever possibly handle. But God says that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he has said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. But the key is that we got to we got to believe and not have doubt, but believe that what we said shall come to pass. See, we got to believe that it's going to come to pass. So, you know, um, 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 Pastor Kimberly went to the uh, uh, ER and they said this and they said that. And Kim turned around and said, we was at home. Kim said, pray for me right now. You know, just catch you right off guard. Just pray for me right now. Pray for her. They couldn't even find it. They can't find it. Let's go to see what Peter and John did. Let's go there. Acts 3, 2 and 7. 
seven. I'm going to read it out of the NIV. Is that okay? How much time do I have, Pastor? She said, I got a lot of minutes. <laughs> she gave me a number, but I called it a lot of minutes. Amen? Now, let, let's look at this. Y'all pay attention. Listen. Now, a man who was lame from birth was being carried to the temple gate called the beautiful, where he was put every day to beg from those going into the temple courts. So there was this crippled man, and the people would set him at the, at the, uh, in the, on the sidewalk before the people came into the church house. And he would sit there and he would beg, but Peter and John was on their way into the church house. So listen to this. It says, when he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for some money. Peter looked straight at him, and when he looked at him, he looked at him boldly and with confidence. And so did John. Then Peter said, look at us. Come on, listen to me. Look at us. So the man gave them his attention, expecting to get something from them. Now, the Bible says in verse 6, then Peter said, <laughs> silver and gold I do not have, meaning money, I ain't got no money to give you. But what I do have, now let me explain to you what Peter and John were saying to this man. What I do have, meaning the authority to release the power of God to heal you. That's what I have. It's the power of God in me. That by faith I release it that you be healed. Yeah. Not that Peter and John healed him, but it was the power of God that was on the inside of him that healed him. We just got the authority yeah. to release it. Yes. He said, I give you in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, walk. He told him to walk, he released. Jesus never told the disciples 
to pray for the sick, but to go and heal the sick. He, is that what he said? That's what he said. He said, go and heal the sick by the authority that was given you. So if you're at home right now, you should have been here. Matthew 10 and 1. My God, my God, I thank you, Lord God. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your power in this place. I thank you for your anointing. Glory to God. Matthew 10 and 1. And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. He called unto him his 12. So by now it's trillions, his trillions, his billions. Confusion. 
solution. And he has a way of whispering those awful lies into our head, but we have authority even over our thought life. And it says that we cast down all those imaginations. Mm -hmm. We cast them down. And we resist the enemy. Then he will flee. You know, I listened to a man teach on that word resist, and he said, you know, when somebody get arrested, you know, they resist arrest, and, they, and, and it really clicked with me because when they resist arrest, that means they, they, they start fighting back, you know? And that's what we gotta do. We gotta fight the enemy back, and not in the physical, but in the spirit. Meaning by saying when God says, I'm fighting back, and I'm, I'm fighting, and I'm resisting everything that you're trying to bring against my life, everything you're trying to bring against my family's life, everything that you're trying to bring against my children's life, I'm gonna begin to resist. Do 
Let's finish at 13. And his servant was healed. At that moment, Jesus spoke. Yeah. So that's the authority that we have to release the power of God that is on the inside of us. And, and that power is the same power. Listen to me, believers. That power is the same power that raised Jesus from the grave. When I tell you we're powerful, I mean we are powerful. Don't you ever let the enemy convince you of who you are no more. You better let them know you are anointed with power and authority to cast him out and to listen and to tell him to shut his mouth. I just want to thank each and every one of you who have come on today. Amen. Hallelujah. I think we had good church up in this house today. Amen. Hallelujah. Nothing like being in the house of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. If there's anyone that is sick, 
or even in, in the house and you need prayer, amen, you can come on up. I need somebody to end this video, amen. Elder, you can end this.